Hi, and uh, welcome to our video tutorial on how to change the message of the day on your Ubuntu, that is Debian-based <coughs> um, distribution. And uh, I'll show you how to do it, and uh, you can follow along. Uh, first, the message of the day is uh, stored in a file that's uh, uh, stored in the uh, etsy slash etc directory, where many Linux configuration files are stored. So I'm already logged into the machine I'm going to do it on. So I'm going to cd, change directory, to etc. Okay, I'm in the etsy directory. There's a huge amount of configuration data beneath this directory. Let's just look for the file we need. So I'll do an ls-l, it's a long listing, for anything beginning with MOTD, MOTD star. And there's two things there. Um, first of all, there's one just called MOTD. You see it in the cyan color on the screen. That's a symbolic link to a uh, file called var run MOTD. That's where the actual message that's created for each user as the user logs in is stored. So when I log in again, it's going to build a new message of the day for me. And um, it's going to be stored over there in var run. <coughs> the file motd.tail is a file that, a template, that's the one we're going to change. That one gets connected, concatenated onto the bottom of the message of the day each time it's run. So when I log in, whatever I put in motd.tail is going to be the last thing we see in the message of the day. So to do that, first of all, let's make a backup. Always going to make a backup copy. Anytime you change, a file, a uh, configuration file, uh, you know, you might make a mistake and you, you would like to be able to back out. So you should religiously make a copy of every file you're going to change in the Etsy directory. So I'm going to sudo, that lets me do this as root because all the stuff in ETC is owned, is owned by root, uh, the, the, the super user. CD, CP for copy, and I'm going to copy motd.tail to motd.tail. ORIG for original. So now I have a copy of the original. And then again the sudo command just lets me run it as root without actually being root. Okay, now if we repeat the ls-l command using the up arrow key in the bash shell, I have a copy of the original file. So I have motd.tail and motd.tail.orig. I'm going to use vi to edit the motd.tail file. You can use gedit if you like a graphical editor. I don't have one on this machine, so I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm going to sudo that because it's owned by root and it's not going to let me save it under that name unless I have, uh, I'm the privileged user. sudo vi motd.tail. That's what's in there now. <coughs> that last line you see when you, when you connect to the machine, it says, uh, tells you where to get the Ubuntu documentation. I'm actually going to basically delete the current contents of this file. And to do that in VI, I can just press a D key, D twice, DD for that line, DD for that line, DD for that line. Again, there's a video tutorial on VI. And I'm going to go ahead and insert, type an I for insert, a new message. And let's kind of make it pretty. Let's make it like this. Maybe we'll put a little box around it. And I'm going to put uh, Welcome to Francois. That's the name of this machine. I didn't name it. And again, I'm just trying to make things pretty here. You can put whatever you want in here. And I'm just typing and hitting enter at the end of each line. Now that I'm done, I'm going to hit escape colon WQ. That's going to get me out of insert mode, back into edit mode, write the file to disk, and quit the editor. There we go. And now if I look, we'll see, uh, I'll replay that ls-l command. And you can see that the, um, I've made the file longer. The original motd.tail.orig file was 80 bytes long, but the new file is 156 bytes long. So I've, I've definitely made a change. To see this effect, to, to see what's happened, I'm going to need to log in again. And the easiest way for me to do on this machine, and you can do this in a terminal application on Ubuntu, do a sudo, because only root can log, some, log in as someone else. I'm going to log myself in again, like this. Enter my password.
and there's my new message of the day. Welcome to Francois. The stuff at the beginning, the last login and the output from the uname a command, those are generated automatically by the MOTD command. But at the end, it is stuck on, or actually in the middle, it's stuck on my welcome to Francois message. And then at the end, it's telling me there are 38 updates I can apply. So some of the content you see when you log in is, uh, is generated programmatically by, uh, by Linux, and some of it is what you put. That concludes our tutorial. Why don't you try that and see if you can make your uh, machine uh, give a nice welcome message. Thanks a lot.